comes along that truly marches to the beat of a different drummer. An entertainer so unique, so special, that the mere mention of a hat with flowers and a price tag brings instant recognition. Tonight, America pauses to honor a true living legend. A member of the Country Music Hall of Fame and the king of country music, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roy Acuff. From the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore, from the queen of flowing mountains to the south built by the shore. She's mighty tall and handsome and she's known quite well by all. Oh, she's a combination of New Old Bash Cannonball. She came down from Birmingham on a cold December day. As she rolled into the station, you could hear all the people say, there's a girl from Tennessee, she's alone and she's tall. She came down from Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. to St. Louis and Chicago by the way. From the hills of Minnesota where the rippling waters fall. No changes can be taken on the Wabash Cannonball. Here's to Daddy Claxton, may his name forever stand. And always be remembered around the courts of Alabama. All these earthly races over and the curtains round him fall. Pearl, tonight all of the people gathered here, all of those who will be performing, and a nation that loves you very much are gathered for one reason. Many, this night's for you. That's off to many. Tonight, a historic array of entertainers join America in honoring one of our greatest treasures, cousin Minnie Pearl. Like you really want to do. Howdy! Do it like the microphone's off and you're yelling across the Grand Canyon. Howdy! Like that. Do it together now. One, two, three. Howdy! Howdy. Yeah. Howdy! Howdy! But there's my version of that. Howdy! 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 Barbara Mandrell. Minnie is still recuperating from the stroke that she suffered. She very much would like to be here tonight. We had hoped that she would be well enough so that she could, but that's not the case. I talked to her just moments ago, and she sends all her love, asking that I read this to you. This tribute tonight is such an honor, and we are truly humbled by the wealth of talented friends who are assembled here. Tonight's show of affection and love has overwhelmed us. 
and left our hearts so full of gratitude that words cannot begin to express our thoughts. We are richly blessed. In 1936, they sent me to a place in northern Alabama, and that's where I found the mountain girl. Actually, she was a mountain woman, but she became my character, Minnie Pearl. But I think when I really, for the first time, became Minnie Pearl was in Aiken, South Carolina, 1939. That night, when I walked in, I had decided to walk down the aisle and something happened to me when I started down that aisle and I had the costume on and I started to say howdy to those people. All of a sudden I had a sort of a metamorphosis and I felt like Minnie Pearl. I was Minnie Pearl as I have been so many times since. On November 7, 1940, Minnie Pearl was introduced to the world on the WSM Grand Ole Opry radio show. That night, Sarah's Minnie Pearl captured the hearts of Americans. Minnie Pearl represents all that is good and safe and happy. Her tales of Grinder Switch transport us to a simpler time, a time when family and friends and community nourished our spirits. Minnie Pearl is a classic, an original, and we're just so proud she's here. who many said were more fun to perform with than a barrel of monkeys have written their own special tribute to her. Ladies and gentlemen, Harold, Don, Phil, and Jimmy, the Statler Brothers. We grew up with our ears to the radio. Searching the AM dial for country music shows. Saturday night would bring grand old ecstasy. And we knew we found the opera when we heard Howdy, Howdy, Howdy. Benny, turn your TV. We're gonna sing you a song in many. We're gonna tell the world the truth about you, girl. We've known you nearly 30 years, and we're just so proud that you were here in a world of many, many. You're a pearl. In a world of many, many. You're a pearl. When we first met Benny Pearl on the stage at the Grand Ole Opry, we were as green as a new mowed lawn. And she was one of the first to treat us as equals, even though Lord knows we weren't and still aren't. But she made us feel like old friends from day one. And we did stage shows together with her over the years, and we did TV shows, and whenever you ran into Benny, she was always there with a hug, and she was always there with a joke. Now, I can't tell you a lot of the jokes here tonight because some of them I don't remember, and because some of them I do remember, but that's Minnie. And I could remember talking comedy with Minnie one time, and she offered some great advice to us early that has proven to be true a lot of times. We were talking about doing a new comedy routine, and she said, never change all your show at one time. Do something new, but be sure you've got the old, familiar, tried and true to depend on. It was good advice. Maybe Minnie wasn't just talking about show business. We'd like to think she was talking about life, because Minnie certainly has kept the old, tried and true friends that she could depend on, and a lot of them are here tonight. It's a tribute to a lady who has touched so many people in such a beautiful way. And Minnie, you can always depend on us, your old familiar tried and true friends, and know that we mean it when we say we're just so proud to be here. Minnie, turn your TV on, cause Minnie, we're gonna sing you a song, and Minnie, we're gonna tell the world the truth about you, girl. We've known you nearly 30 years, and we're just so proud that you were here in a world of many, many.
It's a railroad town located about three miles west of Centerville, Tennessee, which many says isn't even a wagon greasing's distance from the town where she was born. Well, tonight we want to take you to Grinder's Switch. It's 6 a.m. in Grinder's Switch. Good morning, Grinder Switch. The sun's out, the sky's blue, I'm feeling good, and how about you? <laughs> this is Goober and Gomer in the morning. And the request line Shazam, is... Shazam, would you look at that. Miss Johnson just rammed old man Wilson's pickup truck. Nobody was hurt, but the crash did injure Mr. Wilson's toupee. <laughs> hey, let's throw the Grinder Switch now and take you to Goober in the 20-hour newsroom. From the hills to the valleys and all around Grinder Switch, if it happens down the block, it's news to us. <laughs> hey, Goober, it's time for old Willard Scott with the weather. As you know, the sun always shines in Grinder Switch. Every morning, there's two things you can count on. Biscuits popping in the oven and the sun coming up over the rooster. Uncle Nabob used to be the official forecaster years ago in Grinder Switch, but he had a little sign in front of him that said weather, W-E-A-T-H-E-A-R-E-R, -E -E and that was about the worst spell of weather they've ever had in Grinder Switch. <laughs> This weather was brought to you by Sisters Motel. And she must be looking for some of that Opryland Hotel convention business. She's got a sign out there in her window that says, Have your next affair here. <laughs> hey, hey, Gomer, talking about affairs, it's time for today's gossip column of the airways. Let's go down to the corner line. Are you there? Now we're not one to go around. Kind. Oh, you'll never hear one of us repeating gossip, so you better be sure and listen close the first time. Hey, did you hear that Goober went to that fancy seafood place that you told him about? Oh, did he like it? Well, when they brought out the lobster, he sent it back. Why? He said it came with little tools, and he didn't want to eat something that had to be fixed first. <laughs> Sitting around talking gossip. Why we're just not at all the tea talk kind. We just read good books and watch the children. So ladies, always keep that in your mind. Hey, hey Gomer, you remember my buddy Sapo? Well, kind of. Well, you know the one that lives so far out in the country. Nobody lived behind him. No. Well, he said he, everywhere he goes, he takes his wife with him. Are they really that close? No, he said she's the only. He don't want to have to kiss her goodbye. Now we're not going to get caught telling rumors. None of us at all of the gossip be kind. You'll never get to spread lies and hearsay. So you better hear it right the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, George Jones. Oh, you tell me what this was when you once knew her. How she played her games with many, many men. And you tell me you don't think I'd still be with her. If I could just have known her way back then. Lord, you ask me why I don't pack up to leave her. Now that I know about her wicked way, well, I doubt that you could understand my thinking. Hey, but listen close to what I have to say. She's the rock that I lean on. She's the sunshine of my day. And I don't care what you say about She took me in and made me everything I am today. She's my rock and I ain't gonna throw her away. I know she never was then 
what she is now Lord, she had to make mistakes like anyone else Hey, but don't you point your finger right nobody Lord, it's plain to see that you ain't no saint yourself She's the rock that I live in on Oh, she's the sunshine of my day And I don't care what you say about her Lord, she took me in and made me everything I am today She's my rock and I ain't gonna throw her away She's my rock and I ain't gonna throw her away She's my rock and I ain't gonna throw her away Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chet Atkins. All right. Thank you. Hello there, Minnie Pearl. I wrote a couple of verses for you to this song. I was so jealous when you met Henry. You'd have to cut me out, I feared. My heart was broken, but you kept joking. And I kept laughing through my tears. You are my sunshine, my only, only sunshine. You kept me laughing through the years.
We talk a lot about legends, and country music certainly has had its share of them. But a legend puts a mark on this world that nobody can erase. And if they're really special, they indelibly leave their mark on our hearts. A mark that is unique, timeless, and special. You remember how they used to change the scenery backstage with those big sandbags? <laughs> I got hit in the head with one of those. The first sandbags? Night, that what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> that was my excuse for not being funny one night. <laughs> now I've got to make up some more for the other night. Somebody said when I told them I had, that the thing hit me in the head said, well, it did it hurt you. I said, well, did it help me? <laughs> uh, I got to go for the hand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Porter Wagoner. How many times have you heard someone say, if I had his money, I would do things my way. But little they know that it's so hard to find one rich man in ten with a satisfied mind. Hank Thompson. Hey, Mr. Bartender. Please don't be so slow. I got time for one more round and a six pack to go. Tomorrow morning, Sunday, I'm gonna be feeling low. So please, please, bartenders, I want a six pack to go. I've been a drinking all day long, taking in the town. I've done is spend my whole paycheck just a honky-talking round. Well, I don't have enough to pay my rent, but I ain't gonna wear it, though. I got time for one more round and a six-pack to go. Brenda Lee. And I heard him say his I made my retreat There's a bird of paradise Fly up your nose Me and Alabad Go rest you with his toes Me and your wife Be black with the runner's skin There's a bird of paradise Fly up your nose Bill Anderson Though you broke my 
gentlemen, Mr. Ray Stevens and friends. In country music, it seems that if you're going to succeed, you need a hat. Like Garth Brooks, George Strait, Alan Jackson, Clint Black, Mark Chestnut, Charlie Daniels. Oh, but we can go back to Tex Ritter, Jimmy Dickens, Ernest Tubb, and old Hank. But every great hat act has one person to thank. Proud to be here, honey. Howdy! We got one old lady who lived to be 102, and a reporter come down there from Nashville. He said, Granny, have you been pretty healthy all your life? And she said, yeah. He said, have you ever been bedridden? <laughs> she said <laughs> hundreds of times and once in a buggy uh, when I was just starting to play in front of large audiences I uh, saw a program where she was quoting Judge Hayes when he tried to make her feel more at ease going out on her first appearance on the Grand Old Opry and it helped me to relax in front of large audiences he told her just love them and they'll love you back Although hats have become a standard identity for lots of stars, Miss Minnie truly is the original hat act of all time. Yes, she is. That is right. And go ahead. 
And now, singing a special song from one of those hats to another. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, he's handsome, Ricky Van Shelton. Georgia, and he was looking for soul steel. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. When he came across this young man sewing on the fiddle and playing it hot, and the devil jumped up on a hickory stump and said, Boy, let me tell you what. You probably didn't even know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you'd care to take a dare, I'll just make a bet with you. Now, you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but let's give the devil his due. I bet this fiddle of gold against your souls will think I'm better than you. Boy said, my name's Johnny, and it might be a sin, but I'm gonna take that bet, and you're gonna regret, because I'm the best it's ever been. Johnny, you rousing up your bow and play your fiddle hard. Cause hell's broke loose in Georgia and the devil deals the cards. And if you win, you get this shiny fiddle made of gold. But if you lose, the devil gets you so. Devil opened up his case and he said, I'll start to show and fire through from his fingertips as he rolls it up his bow. And then he pulled his bow across the strings and it made an evil hit. And then a band of demons joined in that sounded something like this.
When the devil finished, Johnny said, you know, you're a pretty good old son, but if you'll just flop down in that chair right there, I'm going to show you how this is done. Found the man, run, boys, run. The devil's in the house with the rising sun. Chicken in the bread pan, a picking out dough. Planted the shit off like no child on. bowed his head cause he knew that he'd been beat and he laid that golden fiddle down on the ground at Johnny's feet. Johnny said, devil, you just come on back if you ever want to try again. I done told you once, you son of a gun, I'm the best as ever been. He played, found the mountain, run, boys, run. Devil's in the house of the size his son. Chicken in the bread pan, a picking out dough. Granted, as you don't fight, no child, oh. You know, somebody once said that the first impressions are always the lasting impressions, the, the impressions that count. And my first impression of meeting you was one night backstage at the Grand Ole Opry, and I was one of those long-haired rockabillies from Memphis. And you welcomed me with such love and open arms that I'll never forget it as long as I live. Well, I would not get you for anything. You're so handsome, and you're so tall you so hard to get. Uh, uh, listen, I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody because I know what it is to be hurt. It may not show, but love has kicked me in the face. It shows, uh... You are so cute. <laughs> well, now you just made my day. I thought you were the cutest thing I ever saw in my life, and I still do. <laughs> I love you, too. So today I saw a handsome fella or two, and I flirted with him just for Lizzie, not for me. <laughs> and then tonight at the barbecue, I seen some more handsome Texas fellas, and I flirted with them just for Lizzie, not for me. <laughs> but when I seen that handsome President Bush... <laughs> to go into business for myself. Really loves men. And uh, that's why she likes me, I guess. I she knows she loves men and she and she uh, she flirts outrageously, you know. I, I, that's, I guess that's why she makes me nuts, you know. Uh, I remember somebody telling me once, you know, you know who's very sexy, Minnie Pearl? And I said, what? And, and then you're around her a little bit. She, because what's sexy to me is talent, and, and she's sexy. She is sexy, and she uh, she calls people hunks, not people hunks. She calls hunks because you know there are hunks and there are hunks. You know? There's hunks of beef, there's hunks of cement, and then there's a hunk. And, 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 and a hunk is a whole different thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Vince Gill.
tag any day. My hat's off to you, darling. I just want you to know that love is just pouring out to you. Howdy! I think it fits. <laughs> you know, when it comes to picking out men for each other, that's hard. And Minnie is so funny. Minnie's always said that she kind of likes going out on blind dates. Minnie said she figured she could have a better chance with a fella who didn't see too well. <laughs> well, we have some hunks now. Oh, yes. Who can see well and they love Minnie to pieces. First, here's T. Graham Brown. God bless you. Cocktail talk, idle chatter, lipstick lips that flirt and flatter. Not a word I haven't heard before till I saw her coming through the door. She let her walk in and do her talking. She's a brilliant conversationalist. Yes, ma'am. The more she moved, the more I was amazed How gracefully she could turn a phrase Every thought so well expressed And every line so picturesque She let her walk in, do her talking She's a brilliant conversationalist she had so many nice things to say, and I had never seen it put quite that way. Her nylon for whispering and invitation, her high heels provided all the punctuation. Do her talking, she's a brilliant conversationalist. Talking, she's a brilliant conversationalist. Oh, yeah. Steve Warner. Good 
good-looking, smooth-talking man. If you got a woman, better treat her just as good as you can. Lots of times a lonely girl will go out on the town with no thoughts of evil on her mind. And she don't try to plant bad seeds Lord knows there's something every woman needs. A friendly smile will do every time. Right, Minnie? Because lonely women make good lovers. They're all at the mercy of a good-looking, smooth-talking man. If you got a woman, you better treat her just as good as you can. Eddie Rabbit. Well, I love a rainy night. I love a rainy night. I love to hear the thunder, watch the lightning when it lights up the sky. You know it makes me feel good. Well, I love a rainy night, it's such a beautiful sight. I love to feel the rain on my face, there's the rain on my lips. In the moonlight shadow. Showers wash all my cares away. I wake up to a sunny day, cause I love a rainy night. Thunder, watch the lightning when it lights up the sky. You know it makes me feel good. Well, I love a rainy night, it's such a beautiful sight. I love to feel the rain on my face, there's the rain on my lips, in the moonlight shadow. inspiration to me and I think this song is consistent with the way you've lived your life. When I was a young girl, my daddy told me a lesson he learned. It was a long time ago. If you want to have someone to hold on to, you're gonna have to learn to let go. You got to say, like you don't need the money, love. Like you'll never get hurt, well, you got to dance. Like nobody's watching, it's got to come from if you want it to work Now here is the one thing I keep forgetting When everything is falling apart In life as in love You know I thing as trying too hard you got to say like 
Dwight Yoakam. You know, many. I wrote this originally about all those other girls, but tonight I wrote it just for you, Minnie. Free. 
I can stay. Ain't ever do, so you can't throw me out. I've loved you for years, don't know where I'd go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel rent on a rundown place. There ain't no view, but there's lots of space. Minnie, that's just too much eel. Well, I've done it. Well, I'll just declare. Me and Uncle Sike went fishing about three weeks ago, and the fish is biting good. Kept on biting plumb up till dark, see? Yeah. So we just lit the lantern and just kept on catching them crappie there, see? Yeah. And the first thing I knowed, my foot slipped, and I kicked that lantern off in the river. Oh. I went back down there the day before yesterday to that same place, and I got a bite, I yanked it out, and I had caught that lantern. Oh, rottenly. And it was still burning. Oh. Oh, no, I'll not take that. That's the biggest fish story I ever hear tell Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, man. If you cut that there eel half in two, I'll blow out my lantern. Oh, shut up. The Stapler Brothers. Mr. Roy Clark. We're not as young as we used to be. But baby, I don't mind. Cause growing old is gonna be full of life and good times and if i had to do it all over again i'd do it with you i wouldn't want to miss a thing that we've been through baby nothing can compare to the good love that we've shared and if i do it all over again, I do it with you. And if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it with you. I wouldn't want to miss 
a thing that we've been through. Baby, nothing can compare to the good love that we share. And if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it with you. And if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it with you. Mr. Glenn Campbell. If you see your brother standing by the road with a heavy load from the seeds he sowed, and if you see your sister falling by the way, would you stop and say, girl, you're going the wrong way? That you've got to try a little kindness Show a little kindness Shine your light for everyone to see And if you try a little kindness Then you overlook the blindness Of narrow-minded people On their narrow-minded street Don't you walk in a helping hand instead of down and the kindness that you show every day is gonna help someone along along their way but you've got to try a little kindness You always pe take people in, whether you know them or not. The first time we then came backstage, you took us in. You took me in like a, like a lost child, because I was. Um, you made me feel special. You make everyone feel special. Here is Steve Hall and Shotgun Red. Thank you. As you know, this night is dedicated to a very special lady. Isn't that right, Red? Yeah, that's right. Of course, it's dedicated to Cousin Minnie Pearl. Hey, Minnie, you know something? I really think... Hey, but who is the shooting, rooting, tooting cowboy? Oh, no. It's Pee-wee Herman. How you doing, Pee-wee? Uh -huh. Give me four, man. Give me four. How you doing, Pee-wee? Great, Red. How's it going? Boy, just doing great. <laughs> Boy, this is sure an exciting night, huh? Yeah. Everybody's dressed up like they're rich or something. <laughs> All the big stars are here tonight. Reba McIntyre. Yeah. Oak Ridge Boys. Yeah. Dwight Yoakam. <laughs> to name just a few. <laughs> hey, there's my friend Dolly Parton. Hi, Dolly. How's it going? <laughs> oh, wait. That's not Dolly Parton. It's just two bald-headed guys sitting side by side. <laughs> <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> hey, Pee Wee, you show something? I got a, I got a Minnie Pearl joke. You want to hear my favorite Minnie Pearl joke? Lay it on me. Minnie always talks about brother. Brother brought home this mule, had his ears, it was so long he couldn't get him in the barn, so he started sawing the top of the barn door off, and the neighbor walked up and said, hey, what are you doing? He said, well, I bought this mule, his ears are so long, I'm cutting the top of the door off to get him in. He said, well, it's a dirt floor, why don't you just dig a trench? He said, well, you big dummy, it ain't his legs, it's too long, it's his ears. <laughs> that story. <laughs> hey, I like to get serious just for a minute, Red. All right. And I like to tell everybody out there that I not only admire and respect Minnie Pearl, I consider her a longtime close friend. In fact, her husband Henry called me and asked me if I would do, do the show tonight. I just want you to know, Minnie, I'd do anything for you. I wouldn't trade how much I love you for anything in the world. And now... Tommy and Dickie, the Smothers Brothers. 
I'll tell you, Brian, personally, I think it's just so great being in Nashville. Don't you feel great, I'm Nashville? So, excuse me, There's Dick. a feeling here just that you can't get anywhere else? Just let me say this. I'm so excited to be in Nashville because being in Nashville, this is the, the home where my girlfriend lived for so long, and she still lives here. I didn't know that. Yeah. You have a girlfriend here in Nashville? Yep. Oh, isn't that... Well, who is it? Minnie. Minnie who? Minnie Pearl, my girlfriend. Really? That's that's Minnie Pearl? Is we, had a, we had a little thing going she, Does she her. know this? Does she know that she's your girlfriend? I, I, I hope she remembers. I mean, we were... Has she showed you any interest on her part, though? Is this a one-way thing? She's right? all over me. Minnie, Minnie and I, we were hanging out together and she, we couldn't oh, keep, her, time, couldn't keep her hands off me. We that's, got a, that's not fact, true. We, Yes, sir, we were engaged. Oh, come on, you weren't engaged. I was engaged to Minnie Pearl. Oh, no, so come on, six Tom, now just engaged. a second. Now, this is, this is going too far. I, was I love Minnie Pearl, everybody loves Minnie Pearl, but you weren't engaged. Now, why'd you say that? That's not true. If you hadn't said anything, they, they, they might have bought it. <laughs> <laughs> but you love her anyway, don't I you? I love her anyway. So do I. <laughs> he had a gun, Bob Robber. He come out to me here. And he had a gun in his hand. He said, give me your money. I said, I haven't got no money. And he frisked me up and down. He said, you haven't gotten. Well, he did. <laughs> you see, at your age, that doesn't mean anything, but it means a lot to me. Watch it! Woo! Oh, Aka. <laughs> well, what did you do? King of country music's crowns don't slip. <laughs> said he frisked me up that so I got distracted detoured he said give me your money I said I haven't got no money he frisked me up down he said you haven't got any money have you and I said no I haven't but if you'll do that again I'll write you a check Grandpa Jones I was over the grinder switch a lot good while ago and and went to many pearl house and and we was talking in, in some way that the house got a fire. <laughs> and, and she grabbed the phone and called the fire department and, and said, get over here quick. And my house is a fire. And the fella says, well, how, how do we get there? And she said, well, in that red truck, just like you always do. <laughs> world and we are men of this world oh yeah uh, we're a little bit offended at the way you and Minnie and the rest of you ladies treat us like sides of beef oh come on Harold you can't tell me that you men don't love it you girls are all the same we get no respect for our brains and brilliant personalities you know there are some things more important than muscles and good looks <laughs> well, come on girls let's show him Ladies and gentlemen, here are the Forster Sisters. Well... I'd love to be 
Bosman. Talk 
make it in country music have all had our ups and downs. I love music and I love the fans, but after the lights die down and the applause is over, where do you go? Who can you look to for inspiration who really understands you? That person has been many for me and lots of others. She'd say, your name being up in lights is nothing but light bulbs and they can burn out real quick. Well, Minnie is one of the examples of the exceptions to that rule. She's a light that'll never go out. You hold the tater real, real, real tight now, and then you kind of take it right here in the middle, and then, then you start in. Oh, maybe you better tell the girls. Oh, yeah, well, <clears throat> uh, Ernie, uh, huh? well, about this time, I think I'd better tell the girls something. Yeah. While you're doing this, girls, you ought to be awful careful about getting that you can't get the tater too close to you. <laughs> you're liable to get more into your work than you figured. Now, you want to crown the hole in that tater full of this good sausage. I wish we'd have tried this on rehearsal. That's the only thing. Tip it out, mine's a falling out. <laughs> and cram it good and full and good and tight. We're hurrying, we're hurrying. Here's Ricky Stagg. Thank you very much. If uh, Mr. Henry was a songwriter, he would have written a song just for Miss Minnie. One, two, one, two, three. So round, so firm, so fully packed That's my gal So complete from front to back That's my pal Toasted by the sun And I'm a son of a gun If she don't make my five o'clock shadow Come around at one You can bet your boots I'd walk a mile Through the snow Just to see her toothbrush smile They mention on the radio if you don't think she's a lot of fun, just ask the man that owns one. So round, so firm, so fully packed. That's my gal. Like a bar flag goes for drinks Like Bobby Soxers go for Frank And just like Jesse James But go for that money in the bank From head to toe she's perfect size She's a whiz Always wears a 45 Gun that is She's got the smile that's so exciting She's got the poise that's so inviting So round, so firm, so fully packed So round, so firm, so fully packed That's my gal One thing about Mary Pearl, it is always hard to get away from her without her giving you a big old dose of her advice 
As a matter of fact, one time she gave me explicit instructions on how to stand when I was with her, facing the opposite direction. <laughs> she said that I interrupted the natural terrain of the fellows that were gazing at her. That's how she is. <laughs> one time I asked her her secret on getting guys. She said, well, the way she gets guys is a secret. But she said the way that I get guys is nobody's secret. Now, I don't know what she meant by that. She's always saying these things. But no matter what she says or no matter what she does, I will always love Minnie Pearl. She looked into a heart so sad And saw what no one ever had Beneath the snow she saw the spring Finds good in everything. Give her thorns and she'll find the roses. Give her sand and she'll find the sea. Give her rain and she'll find the rainbows. Just see the love she found in me just see the love she found in me I love you and my hat's off to you darling I someday would be an actress but the Lord never intended for me to be an actress the Lord intended for me to be a comic and I've tried I failed but I've tried ladies and gentlemen one of Minnie's favorite singers singing one of Minnie's favorite gospel songs Jim Neighbors with Red Foley just before he died. They were in Vancouver, and he did a song called Steal Away with a recitation of an old preacher talking about the death of a little child. She said she still remembers it because there wasn't a dry eye in the crowd. Here to sing one of those great Red Foley gospel songs is his son-in-law, Pat Boone, along with the wonderful Jordan Ayers. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time of life. Everybody's gonna have religion and glory. Everybody's gonna be singing a story. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time up there. Oh, glory, hallelujah. There's a reckon and a coming in the morning. Better get ready, cause I'm giving you the warning. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time of life. 
Now listen, everybody, cause I'm talking to you. The Lord is the only one to carry you through. You better get ready, cause I'm telling you why. The Lord is a coming from a soon on high. Going down the valley, going one by one. We're gonna be rewarded for the things we've done. How are you gonna feel about the things you'll say on that judgment? Well, the world of the world. That's gonna have religion on the road. Everybody's gonna be singing that story. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time up there. Whoa, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How's the record that they're coming in the morning? Better get ready, cause I'm giving you the warning. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time up there. You get your holy Bible in the back of the book. The book of Revelation is the place you look. If you understand it and you can, if you try, the Lord is a coming from his own on high. Reading in the Bible on the things he said. He said he's coming back again to raise the dead. Are you going to be among the chosen few? Or will you make it? Well, will it? Everybody's going to have religion on the road. Everybody's going to be singing that story. Everybody's going to have a wonderful time up there. Whoa, glory, hallelujah. How's the record on the coming in the morning? Better get ready, cause I'm giving you the Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time up there. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time up there. Everybody's gonna have religion and glory. Everybody's gonna be singing that story. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time up there. Whoa, glory, hallelujah, brother. There's a record and a coming in the morning. Better get ready, cause I'm giving you the warning. Everybody's gonna have a wonderful time up there. Gonna have a wonderful time of life. Wonderful time of day. I am the Star Spangled Banner. Nobody believes that more than the Oak Ridge Boys. Seems everything I buy these days has got a foreign name. From the kind of car I drive to my video game. I've got a Nikon camera, a Sony color TV. But the one that I love is from the USA. American made, born and bred in the USA, from her silky long hair to her sexy long legs, my baby is American made. Well, people have asked me over the years, why do you suppose that Minnie has lasted as long as she has? But you know what, now, while I've got you here, I want to tell you something that happened to my Uncle Nabob the other day. You know Uncle, <laughs> don't you? Yes. Well, you know, Uncle, he, he's not a failure. He just started at the bottom, and he likes it there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Is Uncle Nabob drinking anymore? No, he's not drinking anymore, but he's not drinking any less. <laughs> if I would have put it all in a brief statement, I'd say that possibly she has lasted this long because she loves to perform and she loves to hear people laugh and she just loves and she does. Yes, she does. Freddie Fender is a great fan and friend of Minnie's and Henry's. And every time that they hear Freddie perform, they request that he sing this particular song that he's going to do right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Freddie Fender. Now the eye see in the dark, the town is sleeping. Now the time has come to part. 
the time for weeping. Maya, con Dios, my darling. Maya, con Dios, my love. history. It is the center stage of so many wonderful entertainers. It is the home of Cousin Minnie Pearl. If these walls could talk, here's Amy Grant.
remember most about the 50 years. No, what is that? Having the opportunity to work in front of all these people, all these people, all the wonderful people. I have had a marvelous time in my life. I've had some bad times and some good times, as we all have. Aren't you nice to come to see us today? I love you. God bless. Every couple has a song that's their song. Many, I found out what song is yours and Henry's, and I'm singing this just for you and Henry. Tear a storm from out the sky. such a complex person as Cousin Minnie Pearl, the first lady of comedy, an American treasure, a legend. I've been trying for years and still don't feel that we do her justice. I do know that she is a wonderfully funny lady who thrives on laughter. She told me laughter is like a drug and I'm totally addicted. And when I work now, it's for the sheer fun of it or the challenge or just because I want to see my old show business buddies. She epitomizes what we all dream for America and for our own lives. And for all of us tonight, it's a dream we never want to end. I wish I was in the land of cotton. Cause old times there are not forgotten Look away, look away, look away Dixieland Oh, I wish I was in Dixieland Away, away
the thing that money could buy. wrote them. She said, people always ask me, where is Grinder's Switch? As I grow older, the place is no longer a little abandoned loading switch on a railroad in Hickman County, Tennessee. Grinder's Switch is a state of mind, a place where there is no illness, no harm, no unhappiness, no political unrest, no tears. It's a place where there's happiness, where all you worry about is what you're going to wear to the church social and if your feller is going to kiss you in the moonlight on the way home. And many, thank you for sharing with us your beautiful grinder switch. I just wish I could bring all of you all a grinder switch. Tell me that the first time that she had a date with Henry that Henry said to her, baby, after the Lord made you, he sure must have buffed his nails. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Cannon. I want to, in a small way, bring you I'm so inadequate to try to bring you Minnie's love as well as mine. This has just been a great evening. You know, Minnie, Minnie and I have been blessed in so many ways. We've, we've had a wonderful life, and all of our friends here tonight are just, we, we love you all, and, this, and Minnie will live with us the rest of her life, and she will enjoy seeing this show. She hasn't, she did not see it put together tonight, but we're, we're going to be with her when she sees it, and she'll love every minute of it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you baby. You're the sweetest friend. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, beautiful show. Thank you so much. This has been a great evening for the greatest lady of all ladies. Everyone loves you, Minnie Pearl. Good night, everybody.